The UFC is back in Brisbane on March 19th. Australian knockout artist Mark Hunt battles two-time former UFC heavyweight champion Frank Mir. Oh, look at that! Unbelievable action! Plus, number eight ranked welterweight Neil Magny squares off against former Olympian Hector Lombard. UFC Fight Pass is your home for all new live events and original programming. March gives fight fans more exclusive debuts than ever before. Check out 2020 for your fix of facts, figures, and little known trivia from recent bouts. Break down the science behind mixed martial arts in UFC Lab. Relive the best of Vitor Belfort and pioneers of MMA. Hear incredible stories from UFC stars. Vanessa Silva can't deny me a battle shot. In Fightography and stream featured bouts on UFC Fight Pass early prelims. This month, the nightmare returns as Diego Sanchez takes on Jim Miller at UFC 196. And later in the month, Abel Trujillo and Ross Pearson go to war live from Brisbane, plus exclusive live action from around the world, including Pancrase, Invicta, Titan, and more. And the UFC Fight Pass On Demand library keeps on growing with the addition of Glory Kickboxing and Eddie Bravo Invitational. Stay tuned all month long. I am calm, cold, moodless, and ready to take out the body that's in front of me. I will be a ghost in there. He will think I'm there, and then I am not there. I will strike him with every limb, the knee, Heel, the fist, the elbow. I recognize a weak target and I shut the lights out. They go down as the greatest of all time. You need to put them away in devastating fashion every single time. It's my time to shine. UFC fans here in the UK, we'd like to welcome you to today's official weigh-in for UFC Fight Night Silver vs Bisping. Tomorrow night, we've got a historic showdown in the main event as former middleweight champion Anderson the Spider Silver returns from over a year layoff to battle England's own Michael the Count Bisping. In the co-main event, a lot on the line in this matchup of middleweight contenders as Gegard Mousasi faces Tales Latez. And that's not all. Must see TV in the main card opener as bantamweights collide when Francisco Rivera takes on Brad One Punch Pickett. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our UFC sponsors, EA Sports UFC 2, out across the UK and Ireland on March 17th for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Pre-order your copy now and finish the fight. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in London. We hope to see all of you right back here for the fights tomorrow night. And now, it's the official weigh-in for UFC Fight Night Silver versus Bisbee. Here is Andy Friedlander. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome. The UFC is back in London. It is, of course, UFC Fight Night Silver versus Bisping. This is Carly Luciana, Sean Shelby, the matchmaker, the boss, Dana White. We have Mark Ratner, he's going to be checking the weights, and Ricky Manetta, who takes care of all our fighters. We are at the O2 Arena in London, England. It all goes down tomorrow night, but let's start by kicking it off in the lightweight division. 
It's a bout between David Taymor and Martin Svensson. First to the scale is Martin Svensson. pounds and now please welcome his opponent David Taymor So the second bout tomorrow night as well will be in the lightweight division between Temu Paku Pakalen and Timo Guti. Please welcome Timo Guti. for Guti. Next up, put your hands together for his opponent, Taimu Bakalan. to the heavyweight division scheduled three rounds tomorrow night between Daniel Omilanchuk and Georges Man Mountain Dano. Please welcome Georges Man Mountain Dano.
261. 261 pounds for Dano. And now please welcome his opponent, Daniel Omilanchuk. A very popular lightweight bout next between Stormy Norman Park and Rustam Tiger Habilov. Please give it up for the Tiger, Rustam! And now put your hands together, London, for Storm Norman Park! Fifty-five! One hundred and fifty-five pounds for Norman Park. So the first of the night's middleweight bouts will be between Bradley Bear Scott and Christoph Jocko. Please welcome to the scales, Christoph Jocko. Jocko. And now please welcome Englishman Bradley Bear Scott. for Bradley Scott. We're gonna slide back down to the featherweights next, scheduled for three rounds tomorrow night. It's Arnold Almighty Allen against Yeltsin Mazer. Give it up for Yeltsin Mazer.
144. 144 pounds for Mesa. And introducing his opponent tomorrow night, Arnold Almighty Allen. Forty-five, one hundred and forty-five pounds for Arnold Allen. Now back up to the middleweights. It's going to be Scott Askham against Chris Dempsey. Give it up for Chris Dempsey. Dempsey weighs in at 185 pounds. And now please put your hands together for his opponent tomorrow night, Scott Askham. Ask him 185 pounds. Now we go to the bantamweight division. The first bantamweight bout of the night tomorrow will be J.D. Grant against Marlon Vera. Please put your hands together, London, for Marlon Chito Vera. Thirty-five, one hundred and thirty-five for Cheeto. And now, please make some noise for his opponent, Davy Dangerous Grant. Six pounds. Dangerous. Davy Grant, 136 pounds. And next up, a highly anticipated bout at featherweight between Mike Wilkinson and Makwan Amekani. First to the scales is Makwan, Mr. Finland, Amekani.
45. 145 pounds for Amir Khani. And now let's bring out his opponent tomorrow night, Mike the Warrior Wilkinson. Wilkinson 145 You do not want to miss that fight tomorrow That all goes down here at the O2 tomorrow night Wilkinson Amir Khani so moving to the main card, ladies and gentlemen, it continues at bantamweight for schedules three rounds. It's Francisco Rivera against Brad Pickett. London, give it up for your very own Brad. One punch, Pickett.136 pounds for one punch picking. And next in the scales, his opponent is Francisco Cisco Rivera. for Cisco. We now move to the welterweight division. Scheduled for three rounds, it's Tom Breeze versus Keita Keitaro Nakamura. Please welcome Keita Nakamura. pounds right on the welterweight limit and his opponent tomorrow night from England give it up for Tom Breeze pounds for Tom Breeze. So now to the co-main event, it features two top 10 ranked middleweights, Gegard Mousasi and Talis Leites. Please welcome number 10 ranked middleweight in the world, Talis Leites.
86. 186 pounds for Leiters. And now, London, put your hands together for his opponent, number nine ranked in the middleweight division, Gegard Musasi. for Masasi. So now a fight that's had us anticipating it from the moment it was announced. It's the Spider versus the Count. Before we bring them out, let's have a deeper look at both warriors. que tem de mais interessante no, no meu sentimento de amar lutar é o desafio de você poder estar tá sempre se colocando à prova, colocando à prova o teu corpo, a tua mente. Eu acho que a luta me dá isso, me dá condições de sentir que eu posso cada vez mais. Anderson Silva, in his prime, was widely regarded as the greatest mixed martial arts fighter that has ever lived. He put on some of the most amazing performances we ever witnessed inside the octagon. Anderson, looking to finish the fight! Anderson's doing amazing things. Rightly or wrongly, this is the greatest fighter in the world that we're talking about. I want to be able to say that I fought him and that I beat him. I think I will beat him. I think my style matches up very well and uh, he's going to find out. Michael Bisping has been working and grinding towards a world title fight ever since he won the Ultimate Fighter way back on season three. If Michael Bisping can beat Anderson Silva, he will have realized a dream. He will have beaten a former world champion, beaten the greatest fighter the world has ever known, and done so in England. It's gonna be crazy. I am their home team, and I will win. Eu acredito muito que essa luta é boa pro Bisping e boa pra mim também. Tô mais empolgado e com mais garra do que antigamente. Eu posso dizer que eu estou no estágio probatório para um outro nível, como lutador e como atleta. I've always had maximum respect for Anderson Silva, but I'm going for one thing only, and that's to beat him in a mixed martial arts fight. I'm going to inflict a lot of damage on this guy, believe you me. It will be all action and it will feature this man, Michael, the Count Bisping! One hundred and eighty-five pounds for the count. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to London. Welcome to the scales, Anderson, the Spider, Silva. Six. 186 pounds for Anderson Silva. Michael, Michael, we've got a chance for one quick question to you, and it's simply this. 
You fought a who's who of middleweights in your career. Where would victory over Anderson Silva rank? Everybody here, thank you all for supporting me throughout the years. It means the world to me. When I step into that cage tomorrow, I'm part of myself and Great Britain. Thank you all. This man is a cheat. This man is a fraud. And I will make you pay for your mistakes tomorrow night, my friend. All the needles in your ass, all the steroids will not help you. You pussy. Please, Anderson, just one question uh, for you. If you um, entertain us and win tomorrow night, have you still got an appetite to aim to get the title back? I think so. I go working hard for this one. I think the, this fight, the, the, the night, Saturday, is good for me, good for Bisping, and let's go. Let's go working. This is the show. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasure to have both of these fighters. One more time, Michael Bisping and Anderson Silva. So, ladies and gents, all the action tomorrow night is right here at the O2. Get here early. Do not miss a thing. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for joining us. I'm still here, 10 years later, undefeated in the UK. An icon, a legend.